Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For this video, I'm doing a photo manipulation of the beloved Pokemon Mewtwo. I found this asset online and I decided I had to do something cool with it. And I found another image that, you know, had a guy with a backpack. And you know what, at the end of the day, it could be Ash Ketchum, we don't know. But I wanted to do a bit of Pokemon fan art for this video. Today I wanted to talk about something that a lot of people get confused about in terms of following God or why you might even hesitate in pursuing a relationship with him. People who don't really know Christ, people who are still walking in the beginning stages of faith that they have that, that baby faith, um, they, they often get discouraged from really moving forward in a relationship with God. Um, a lot of the times they think it's because they're not good enough or they think they need to be a certain way in order to have a relationship with him. But you have to know that in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, it says, Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. So even, even before you were born, even before any of us were created here in modern times, God spoke through the prophet Isaiah talking to uh, the people of Jerusalem at that time who were constantly rebelling and disobeying God. But God would always reach out and want to pursue a relationship with them. He would call them his children. And here he's saying that their sins are plenty. They, they have a lot of things that they do wrong and they have a lot of improvement that they need to do, but they will be white as snow. So basically he's saying that he will cleanse them of it and he will make them new again. And then of course in Matthew verse uh, or chapter 11 verse 28, he says, come to me all who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. So he's encouraging us to move into a relationship with him no matter what we have, no matter how we come. We may come weary and burdened. We may come with baggage. We may come with a lifestyle that doesn't reflect his or may not be a, of approval, of his approval, but he's still calling us into his presence to find rest. Because ultimately, God is not looking for perfect people. He uses the imperfect to represent his kingdom. Like for myself, I mean, a lot of people don't don't know me, but I, I have dealt with a lot of addictions. I have dealt with a lot of things that I shouldn't be looking at or, or things that I shouldn't even be saying. And I, I am the least deserving of his grace, of his mercy, of his glory. But because of the love that he has for me, because of what he did for me on that cross, I am able to now stand before him and proclaim him as my Lord and Savior. And he doesn't hold anything that you have done against you. Nothing that you have done remains in him. He has thrown your sins to the bottom of the ocean. And what he wants is to make you clean and make you holy through Christ so that you can have a relationship and be set free. And like I mentioned, Jerusalem, being his chosen city, they were guilty of constantly rebelling against God. They, were, they would stray from him time and time again. But like a good father, he had to punish his children in order to discipline them, right? I mean, when, when a kid starts acting up, you, you can't just give them what they want. You have to discipline them. And the best way for us to discipline us or for the, the best way for us to be disciplined is through punishment. It's only because he wants to pursue us. It's only because he wants uh, he doesn't want to give up on us. He doesn't want to let go of a relationship with us, no matter how deeply flawed we may be. Because, again, he uses the imperfect to represent his kingdom. And what God said to the people of Jerusalem is the same thing he's saying to you. The time will come when I will heal Jerusalem's wounds and give prosperity and true peace. I will restore the fortunes of Judah and Israel. I will cleanse them of their sins against me and forgive all of their sins of rebellion. Then this city will bring me joy, glory, and honor. Think about what he's saying here. The time will come when I will heal. The time will come when I will restore and I will cleanse. So we, we always wonder, like we always, uh, you know, people who are starting in the faith, people who are new or don't know much about Christianity, they think that they can't 
start or they they aren't they aren't worthy because of who they are now that's true like we're not worthy of his of his relationship or of his love of his mercy because of who we are we're sinful creatures but to say that you're not able to have a relationship with him because of what you've done is completely false it's it's the very nature of who we are that he wants us to have a relationship with him it's because of how flawed we are that he wants us to be deep into his presence because otherwise we're unsaved otherwise we are left to be lost so god does not abandon he didn't he didn't go looking for a new nation when he's when he's talking to jerusalem he's saying like like again i will cleanse them of their sins against me and they've sinned so many times now he could have easily left them and found a new and and raised up a new nation but he didn't go looking for a new nation but he went to restore jerusalem he went to restore israel And now God wants to restore you, not replace you. So if you're hesitant in seeking a relationship with him, just know that he is not looking to replace you. He's never looked to replace you. He wants to restore you to the completed work that he's always had in mind. And it's something that you can't imagine. It's something that you can't comprehend. It's a version of yourself you've never met if you haven't spent time with him if you haven't accepted him it's a version of you you've never met and it's far greater and far more put together and and far more peaceful than than you can understand so god isn't shutting you out he is calling to you to restore you to the fullness that you were meant to be um but thank you guys for watching this video i've got more coming more messages to to provide um, so go ahead and click the subscribe button, hit the like, hit the notification bell as well. I've got more videos for you guys and I will see you all in the next.